Well, welcome back to Daybreak. Today's medical coverage with Mercy Doctor Barbara Bumberry focuses on food safety and really if you're going out for a picnic, just really how to do it the right way so that you don't make anybody sick with exactly. what you got out there. Exactly. Talk to us about that, Doctor. Well, the first thing is packing the food. So mm -hmm. the day of the picnic, you want to ideally have three coolers. You have one for your beverages, one for your uncooked meats, uh, chicken, seafood, and then another one for your other uh, vegetables, fruits, other cooked foods. And you can even uh, put ice in the coolers the day before to mm. pre-chill the cooler. Uh, you want to pack it full of ice or ice packs to make sure it's full. Uh, if you put ice on top of the food, that helps keep it cooler. Mm -hmm. And then when you're transporting it, you want to keep it in the air-conditioned part of the car. If you oh, put yeah. it in the trunk, it can warm up very quickly, oh, and yeah. uh, that can temperature-wise can increase the risk for bacteria. And then once you get it to the site, keep it in the shade, maybe cover it with a blanket to keep it insulated. Yeah, for sure. Talk to us about what some of the main concerns are. Like what foods do people most commonly make mistakes with? Well, first off, your uh, meat, your meat, seafood, chicken, uncooked. Mm -hmm. You wanna make sure you handle it very carefully. Uh, you wanna use different utensils for handling uncooked meat versus your, your cooked product or your salad. Uh, people always worry about mayonnaise, like chicken salad and so such. Oh, yeah. Mayonnaise is not really a problem because nowadays we use pasteurized eggs. Oh. The problem is more what you put in it, the pasta, chicken, mm -hmm. hard-boiled eggs. If you open, cut open a hard-boiled egg and it's runny, throw oh, it out. You don't, want to, you don't want to take the chance. The <laughs> important thing is temperature-wise. Uh, there's what we call the danger zone between 40 degrees and 140 degrees. Cold food needs to be kept at 40 degrees or less. Warm food needs to be kept at 140 degrees or more. Otherwise, in that middle temperature range, bacteria can reproduce a lot quicker, oh, increasing your risk for things like E. coli and salmonella infections. Yeah. yeah, just practicing a lot of care. What can you bring with you out to a picnic to really help with this? You want to make sure you've got plenty of utensils mm -hmm. uh, and even labeling them. You don't want to use the same ones for your uncooked meat as you do for your cooked meat. You want to make sure you don't use the same tongs to put your raw hamburger meat on the grill yeah. as you do to, to put salad on your plate. So that's important. And then you want to make sure you've got either a fresh water supply so you can wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Or if not, you can use hand sanitizer. You can use those moist towelettes will work too. Mm, don't want that cross contamination out no. there. And making sure you're hitting that correct temperature. You want your steaks medium rare. You don't want your chicken medium rare. <laughs> That's right. That's for sure. Dr. Barbara Bumberry joining us this morning from Mercy. Thank you for being with us, as You're you welcome. are every month. When we come back, Tom's got his full forecast for you one more time this morning. Plus, we'll share a few cost-cutting measures you can take to save on your electric bill this summer. And still more questions than answers. After a missing Alabama woman turned up a few days later, what she claims happened to her and what evidence police have so far. That's straight ahead for you here on Daybreak. We'll be back.